Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in on this special edition of Diecast Emporium. I know it's been long overdue, but we're finally going to take a look at my updated collection of 1 to 64 scale trucks and heavy equipment vehicles. This video has been requested for uh, almost two years now. So if you've seen the other videos, a lot of these are going to be things that you have seen before, but as of today, a lot of these are going to be uh, some new stuff that you haven't seen before. So I hope that you'll enjoy this video. So first we'll take a look at the trucks, and then we'll take a look at some of the heavy equipment. So without further ado, let's take a quick look at each and every one of these pieces. So first up, we have a first gear set. So this is a Mack Pinnacle tractor with a Talbert Lowboy. This is really quite a nice set. And uh, it's a must-own for anybody that has heavy equipment or uh, farming equipment to tow around. For example, here's a cat um, cat grater. Looks great up on there. If it'll stay up on there for me. There you go. So you can put just about anything on that low boy and make it look good. Um, gooseneck comes off. The ramps do fold down here. As you can barely see. I know it's a little tough to see. Simulated wood texture on here. Uh, outriggers do not extend. They're molded into the casting. But uh, some very good detail on here. As a matter of fact, you can see all the airlines going to the axles and stuff. And uh, this is how you would take it off the gooseneck if you want to. As far as the truck goes, typical first gear in 1 to, uh, one to 64 scale. Door doesn't open. No steering. But still a great looking truck. And uh, you can get these in a variety of different colors, of course, to suit your needs. So, there's that set. Next up, we have a little service truck. This is uh, by Ertl. I picked this up at my local uh, TSC. I think it was like, I don't know, five or six bucks. Obviously, it reflects that. It's got a little crane that uh, moves. Doesn't really extend or anything. It's plastic. I believe this is a Ford F250, F350, something like that. Kind of nice just to have. Next up, we have a green light hitch and tow set. This is an F150. Uh, it has a trailer. I've got a Ertl 320E skid steer on here. Ramps go down. You can put a backhoe or something on here. You'll see a few backhoes they're hiding back there. I'll show those to you in a minute. Again, nice little accessory to have. And uh, pretty cool little set. So as far as the hitch and toes go, they make a ton of these. Uh, different types of flatbed trailers, utility trailers, enclosed car trailers. Uh, if you have a Meyer near you, or uh, I don't know if Toys R Us ever decides to come out of retirement, which I think I read that they are going to, hit those up because they're green light distributors. Or visit a couple of the online retailers. Um, I believe a couple that I'm associated with, at least one of them, I think they do uh, sell green lights. I think the hitch and toes are 11 or 12 bucks, so they're not, not too ridiculous. Back to first gear. We have a dump trailer set. This is awesome because it's got an older style Mack truck. Uh, those Mac experts out there can correct me. I don't know. Is this a Mac Model R? Could be wrong. This one's nice, though, because the engine does open. Got your trademark Bulldog on the front. Got your aggressive, older-style wheels. Here's your dump box. And as you would expect and hope, it does dump. Tailgate opens. If you buy two of these... You can have, like, a Canadian or Michigan style. I do a lot of traveling up in Michigan. You sometimes see two of these hooked together, and they've done that. So if you want to buy two of these trailers, you can hook them together. That's cool. Great little set to have. All right, what else do we have in terms of trucks to show you? Got another first gear, first gear model. This I picked up from Ed's Diecast Shed about a year or so ago. Great people. Go check them out if you have never bought from them. I highly recommend it. They're on Instagram, too. Uh, also, of course, they're on the Google machine, so check them out. they got a website. Um, great, uh, great little Mac dump truck here. 
Doors open on this, hood opens, dumps, all that kind of stuff. This was a special edition done in red. Um, don't know if they have any more of these, to be honest with you. But uh, they might have other 164 scale trucks and stuff for sale, so check them out. Anyway, this is a great model. And it goes well with everything else in this collection. So a lot of these models, including this, um, I've already reviewed in depth on this channel. So this is just a very brief overview. So if you guys want to see anything more in depth or close up, please go ahead and search it out on my channel. Alright, on to the green light trucks. So these are what are called the SD trucks, or severe duty trucks. This was a new release for 2019. This is a matte granite. This is a very nice model. Die cast cab, plastic body, plastic dump box in this case. Uh, fixed in position drop axle, but it's cool that they included that. No steering, but a multi-stage cylinder allows for a realistic dump angle, working tailgate. Um, sweet looking chrome on this. Very nice looking. Realistic rubber tires and hubcaps. Cool thing about all these green light trucks is they're very easily customizable because they're all put together with screws so you can swap out cabs and bodies. Great trucks. And uh, I have a plethora of international dump trucks by them. It's an orange and black one. Blue one. White one. And yes, of course. The red one. Next, stake bed. Again, green light. International cab. And again, in theory, if you wanted, you know, a blue cab, you could easily take the blue cab off of this, and boom, you've got a blue cab with a black stake bed. So they're very easily customizable. Next, another international. It's a fuel and lube truck. These are nice. This opens up back here. Again, a raised lift axle. Doesn't function, but it looks nice. The Greenlight just recently released that the upcoming series of these, this will be in Texaco livery. So there's a lot of Texaco collectors out there that are happy to hear that. That'll be cool. And here is a Mac garbage truck working, uh, I believe they call these front loaders. So forks on that work. It's all plastic. But at least it works. So if you're a garbage truck fan, I would highly recommend picking one of these up. They're really cool. You can tell the company that uh, this is highly influenced by. Obviously, the initials are WM. Pretty cool. Color match is pretty spot on. So if they couldn't get the license, why not make it so that uh, customizers only happen to uh, only need to add a few decals and boom, you got an even more realistic truck. All right, so I believe that is it for the trucks. Oops, one more. Also a green light hitch and tow set. This is a Ram. This is pretty cool. So it's got the hitch in the back for the trailer in the bed. just sits over. And this slides up and down. So if you wanted to have it resting, just like that. Or up if you want it in the truck. Just like that. And your ramps go down. And you can put, again, some piece of heavy equipment on here. That uh, obviously, uh, if it's light enough, we go on here. Okay, so let's go back and uh, take a look at the heavy equipment that we have here. So a lot of these have transcended generations. Uh, a lot of this stuff is well over 20, 25 years old. Um, and some of this stuff is new, 2019. So you've got the full spectrum here. So we'll start out with the scrapers. This is a Cat 611 by Norscott. Late 90s. Great looking scraper. 
simple functionality, but it'll get the job done. Uh, as with most of these, you're not going to see a whole bunch of detail on them, just considering their age. But for 164 scale, not bad. The other scraper I have for you, also a Norscott. And this started out as an Ertl model before Norscott took over the license. This is a 613C elevating scraper. So the elevating mecha mechanism is rubber, simulated by a rubber belt. Which does move. Nice looking scraper. So, here is a cat grater. This is the Ertl model. This was part of their Mighty series back in the early 80s. Managed to find one of these at a train show last fall. Picked it up. New in the box. Although the box had seen better days. But it's got the old cat Pac-Man logo. Um, it does not have a model number specifically on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a Model 12. Because, here is the same casting, updated for the Norscott release, and it's modeled a 12G grader. Alright, on the dump trucks, Norscott D25D articulated dump truck. Nice little truck. Again, late 90s. Been out for quite a while, but still works just fine. Looks great. Another piece you can get, I believe, still to this day, at your local TSC. A mostly plastic John Deere articulated dump truck. Here is a Norscott Cat 775E off-highway truck. These came uh, either sold by themselves, or you could get them together in what Norscott called the Quarry Pack. So you could get the 775E, or you'll see it in a minute, the 988G wheel loader. Um, I believe those were released in around about 2002. Great set to have. Great truck, and um, great model. Okay, next, another Norscott model. Very simplistic, but a favorite among many. Cat Challenger 45, rubber tracks, a simple drilled out hole in the back for many implements, whether they be Ertl or whatever. Even Norscott did a bunch of implements in the late 90s. You can check those out on eBay if you want to see what those look like. Alright, here's a John Deere dozer. I believe this is supposed to be some sort of 850. Uh, this was part of the Road Construction Ahead pack. One of our favorite childhood VHS's. I would highly recommend, even in your adult years, if you have not seen Road Construction Ahead, figure out a way to see that movie. Another Norscott model, this is D6H, track type tractor, bulldozer. Very popular in the late 90s. Again, drilled in hole if you wanted to pull something. Then Norscott updated it with the D6RXL in about the year 2000. And, drumroll please, the first brand new 164 scale Caterpillar model in a number of years. Here is the Diecast Masters Caterpillar XL D6R. Great model. Decent functionality with the blade. Little to no functionality with the ripper. Uh, the tracks move slightly. There will be a separate video showcasing the new 164 scale Diecast Masters models, so be sure to check that out. Okay, here is a first gear 164 scale model, also recently released. I think this is 2017. Komatsu D 
155AX dozer. This is an exceptional model. Ripper functionality, blade functionality, metal tracks, great detail work on it. This is a larger dozer, obviously. One of my favorite 164 scale models of any kind. Whether it be fire, police, construction, on highway trucks, cars, whatever. This is a favorite of mine. Alright, back to TSC. Pick you up some bird feed and another plastic model. I think this is supposed to be modeled after a Deere 844. I am not an expert on John Deere equipment. Um, most of this is plastic. But, hey, it's another loader. Halfway decent. And certainly priced accordingly. Alright, here is a Norscott model. This is the 950F. Again, been around since the early 90s. For a while, it was uh, one of the better loaders you can get in 164 scale. One of the only loaders you can get in 164 scale. In this size, anyway. Unless you wanted a big mining loader like the 988. Until now, here's the Diecast Masters Cat 950M. Very nice model. Good loader functionality. Great lifting height. Great dump angle. Great carry angle. And finally, a new updated loader. Okay, and... The big wheel loader. Here it is. The other half of the mining set, the Cat 988G. Norscott did update this with the new Cat trade dress at the time to a 988H. Identical, other than new paint, new graphics. That's why it's not here. I have both of them. They are I, literally the same model, just different paint and updated graphics. So take your pick if you want the older one or the newer one. So there is that. We move on to backhoe loaders. Here's a deer backhoe loader, which I assume is a half butt attempt at a 310. They made the outriggers work, they made the actual backhoe somewhat movable. But uh, other than that, this is a forgettable model. Unless you just want it on a layout. Or on the back of that trailer that I showed you earlier. Because I will admit, it does look good on the back of that trailer. But that's about all it's good for. Turning the clock way back. Way, way back. Way before my time. Here's an International Harvester Backhoe. Again, unsure of the exact model of this. All of you uh, couch potato experts, feel free to chime in here and educate my sorry butt. But this is an International Harvester backhoe by Ertl from the late 70s. Honestly, this has better functionality than that plastic backhoe that was released a handful of years ago. Uh, obviously, the cylinders are plastic and don't match any of the die-cast metal parts. But what's cool is even back then, they had the forethought to make the seat on here actually flip. So you could flip the seat from being the loader operator trying to do this while it's still somewhat in the camera view, to being a backhoe operator, so you can switch it, just like that. Kind of cool. They had the forethought of that back in the late 70s. All right. While we're on the uh, Ertl train, another Ertl backhoe, 310D. So it's also part of the three-piece road construction ahead set. Not a bad backhoe. Um, also not a good backhoe, but it is what it is. If you're a deer fan, certainly not terrible. You could certainly do worse. All right, let's move on to the couple compact equipment I have real quick. Get those knocked out. These are also brand new. 
These come together, actually, in the Diecast Master set. You get a 272D skid steer and a 297D compact track loader. Now, the cool thing about these, and I don't have them out in this video, but you will see it in the showcase video that I do on these two, is although they both come together and it only cost as near as makes no difference, $20, $24, somewhere in there, they come with attachments. Uh, they come with a auger, they come with a sweeper, and a pal fork, I believe. So for 20 bucks, you get two of these, you get some attachments. Not bad, right? And the functionality is pretty decent. So, pretty impressed. And thankfully, if you're wondering, there's no bob inside of any of these 164 scale diecast masters models. In fact, they don't even come with Bob. So, Bob's on vacation, apparently. Hopefully he's on one of those vacations, if I have anything to do about it, that he never comes back from. But, anyway. So there's the two skid steers. Again, these two come in a set together. You pay 20 bucks, you get both these and attachments. It's like Christmas time. Alright. Next. On to the excavators, the last of the three-piece road construction headset from the early 90s. John Deere 690LC. Uh, sorry excuse for a model, I'll be honest with you. But, as we turn the Wayback Machine way back, it does bring back a lot of memories for us, myself included. I had one of these when I was a kid. This is not the same one that I had, but God knows how many hours that thing had in the sandbox. Decent. Has some backhoe excavator functionality, but, yeah, not much. On the complete opposite end of that spectrum, here's a 2017 first gear release. This is a gosh darn excellent model by first gear. This is a Komatsu PC210, I'll see. Metal tracks... Hydro lines, great functionality. They nailed this one. So if you want an excavator in 164 scale, this is one of the two that I would immediately recommend. Here is the last of the four-piece brand new Diecast Masters. And probably the one that will sell the most. The Cat 320F L. Rubber tracks, decent functionality. Rotates 360 degrees, has your boomstick and bucket movement that you would expect. Um, it's actually got quite a lot of stiffness in it. So it's got a decent amount of play value, if that's what this is going to be intended for. Um, but... Could have done better with rubber tracks, but what do you want for $20? So, for fans of CAT equipment and 164 scale models, this will probably sell very, very well. Now, I mentioned there was two excavators in 164 scale that I would recommend to people. This is the other one. Released in about 2007. This is the CAT 385 CL by Norscott. This is the C version. There was a B version released earlier by Norscott. That one had rubber tracks. And um, this one is the updated one with metal handrails, metal tracks, um, and the updated CAT logo. Very nice model. Great functionality. Built very well. And uh, definitely, a, as you can tell, a sizable 164 scale model. Certainly one of my favorites. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know this video is nearly a half hour long. Um, I know I'm certainly tired of listening listening to myself talk, but I certainly hope you guys appreciate the time I put into this and the effort I put in to show you a good sample size of what's out there in 164 scale. You got to remember, you're not going to find all these in one place. This is almost 30 years worth of 164 scale products that are out there. So if you're interested in these, put the time in, do your research, find them. Uh, there's certainly some gems out there. 
And I definitely think uh, you'll be rewarded with what you'll find. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. Until next time, be safe, take care. We'll see you in the next video.